Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com monthly movie review. This month, I went to see Beirut. It stars John Hamm, Rosamund Pike, Shea Wiggum, Dean Norris, and more. It is the story of a diplomat played by Mason Skiles, who uh, is played by John Hamm, uh, who is stationed in Beirut in the early 70s. Uh, that was when people were kind of getting along uh, in Beirut, the, the Christians and the Muslims. Uh, there was an uneasy peace, but that is quickly shattered within his own home when a young boy who uh, works uh, for the family and uh, is actually becoming part of the family uh, turns out he's the brother of a terrorist. The Americans want him to try to figure out uh, where his brother is, but uh, that brother abducts the boy from a reception at uh, Skiles' house, and in the uh, ensuing gunplay, Skiles' wife is killed. There is a, um, a friend of Skiles, who uh, is still in uh, Beirut. He has um, been working there f since Skiles left, and uh, he is abducted by some um, terrorists. Uh, and then Skiles is actually requested by the terrorists by name to come and negotiate for his release. Now this is 10 years after he left Beirut. His life is kind of in, in the dumper, uh, and he's a drunk, but because uh, this uh, other operative is so deeply entrenched in the various uh, plots and machinations going on in Beirut and the Middle East in general, they want to get him back before he uh, is tortured to re reveal information and possibly blows up all of their operations in the Middle East. So, uh, the CIA and the State Department and all the others are willing to take a chance on Skiles to try to get this asset back. Um, it is a very twisty, very complicated plot and I found it very interesting. John Hamm is really great in the role um, as this washed up diplomat who still has the skills but lacks the confidence because of the loss of his wife. Rosamund Pike plays Sandy Crowder, who is a, uh, a CIA operative stationed uh, in Beirut, and she is sort of his liaison um, and shut shuttles him around, uh, but is also supposed to be keeping an eye on him. And Skiles is not the kind of guy who likes to have an eye kept on him. He tends to uh, be a bit of a maverick. Um, there's not only the problems with the various groups fighting for control in Beirut, there's also people fighting for control within the U.S. government, and there are plots within plots within plots, so that complicates getting back this particular asset. Uh, and there's also sorts of all kinds of emotional things going on, uh, memories uh, that intrude in, on Skiles as he deals with his past and the things that happened before. It is a very thickly plotted movie that it is very easy to get lost in if you're not paying attention, but you should pay attention to Beirut because it is a very taut thriller that has a somewhat satisfying and at the same time dissatisfying ending. It is really one of the best movies uh, of a political bent that you will ever see. It is it is uh, uh, it is fun in a way that isn't really fun because it, <laughs> you know that Beirut goes straight to hell uh, after the events of the film, and that it seems like no matter what these people do, they're going to make the wrong choice, but they're making the best wrong choice that they can given the situation. I really enjoyed the film. I think you should see it. It's in very limited release. So if you don't get a chance to see it in theaters, uh, see it when it pops up on uh, streaming 
uh, whichever platform that might happen to be. I'm sure it'll eventually be on iTunes and all the other places where you can rent or buy movies. It's called Beirut. It stars John Hamm and Rosamund Pike. And I highly recommend it. Five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to the blog section to read the complete review that I will post there. Uh, you can also check out, if you're seeing this on WIMZ.com, the podcast button just above me and listen to The Fractured Frame. It's where a couple of friends of mine and I get together and discuss the latest in movie, TV, streaming, and other entertainment news. It's called The Fractured Frame. We'd appreciate it if you check it out, or if you don't want to listen to it at WIMZ.com, you can get it wherever you get your podcasts. You can follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan, and you can send emails to me, StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Till next time, later. <laughs>